Carrie, I love these mugs so much. Oh, watch me drop them. Yeah, keep Don't keep that know. camera rolling, girl. I might drop them. They actually didn't sell it at their garage sale for 30, which is why it's now at Goodwill. Wait a minute. What's going on here? There's something in there. <gasps> is it Domino's? I uh, I'm not drawn to the squish bottle. I uh, I don't know how I feel about that actually. It is a Goodwill shopping day because it is Wednesday, senior day, which means, what does it mean, Carrie? <laughs> I had to get the rabbit ears up there. <laughs> what does it mean? It means 40% off. 40% off? What are you doing in the back seat? Oh, wait, we're not alone. <gasps> we're with Tiffany, thrifting Vegas, too. Oh, wait, oh, oh, there we oh, go. Oh, wait, Already, it's already getting crazy. All right, we're going into a Goodwill we have not been to. I think it's been over a year. It has easily been at over a year, year since yeah. I've been in this Goodwill. Yeah. So uh, um, I don't know why it got kind of off the route, and so we're gonna try it again today. And what's better to do that than with friends? So everybody ready? We're ready. Let's, Let's get, get shop done. <laughs> Open, open, open. Oh, we get two open opens. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at this little, uh, is it a cigar box purse? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, looks like it's got a little age on it, too. Did I mention I'm doing a purse sale soon? It's $5.99, but we get how much? 40% off. 40% off. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's got the decoupage. It's very 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to pick that up. Carrie, I love these mugs so much. I love, I don't know. I've found them before and I'm so attracted to them. Um, how many are, let's see. They're $2.99, so they'd be 40% off, which makes it like a dollar eighty each so still almost like two bucks each so I don't know if it's worth picking up because that's gonna two four six eight ten that's like twelve dollars you know really weird size I know and they don't that's also bugging me my little OCD yeah. thing here is and they are just made in China. okay I'm gonna pass them but boy I really love those Oh, oh la la, Paris. Ooh. That's a very nice, that's a very nice <laughs> <la> mug. Oh la la. <laughs> oui, oui. It's a Detalitos a la Carta. Well, <laughs> doesn't that sound bougie? Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one. $1.99. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. I would be afraid to wash it. Uh, definitely, because that's like leather on there. Yeah, it's different. It is. I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna she leave stays it. Stays away. Who's that over there? Right there in front of you. They got priced at like ten dollar red tag. Because I'm just curious. Beethoven. Why are we pricing something at ten dollars red tag? I get it. It's Beethoven and all of that, but my goodness. I guess we will have to. Oh, it's Wedgewood. Wedgewood. They just saw that Wedgewood name and said, "Oh, ten bucks. All right, never mind." These look like hey, look at this '80s Mikasa. Oh, I don't do the '80s Mikasa. I mean, it is. These are gold Imari, and these are priced at eight dollars red tag. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's. We got this. It's all good. It's all good. We will still find treasures. I know we will somewhere in here oh maybe it's the uh, Avon Cape Cod no probably not a barrel what'd you find starfishies oh these are recycled glass starfishies I think I have them no maybe not you getting them are you are you handing them to me I will I have them they are heavy they're recycled glass I love these I you know I usually sell oh, watch me drop them 
Yeah, keep Don't keep that throw. camera rolling, girl. I might drop them. That would it. that would make good video, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, no, I usually sell these down at the booth for pretty good money. Now, if we weren't forty percent off, I I may not take them. Uh, but the fact that they are forty percent off of that, I, I can do those because that makes them like less than four bucks a piece. So we're grabbing them. These are fun confetti with. Um, and glitter on them so many people hate glitter I, it's mostly men that I run into that hate glitter these are cool and unfortunately really just not a good seller for any amount of money but I do like them Carrie's looking up the uh, reposado tequila <laughs> corralejo Ooh, I think I did that pretty good you did I'm proud of you I'm They're gonna just I'm gonna ask Sunny Las Vegas if I did that okay. These are interesting. These are from Carnival <laughs> Cruise Line, which you don't you don't see too often. But um, yeah, that was the model. The model ships definitely good. I don't know because do you have to steal those or do they give those to you? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I've not drunk on the cruise ship. I've never been on a cruise, so I don't know. I have, but I didn't drink. These are nice. I don't know who makes these. Um, but they're kind of small for margarita glasses. To tell you the truth, I think when people want a margarita, they want a margarita. So we will pass those. All right. All right, we have to be careful because my favorite little singer is in the background and he always likes to give me a copyright claim. So we have to talk over Adam quite a bit if I want to leave this footage in so that YouTube does not pick up who's singing in the background. I don't know. All right, I switched my little microphone dealio. So hopefully it's not picking up on good old Adam. There's just certain singers that, boom, they are on it. They are on it. They don't let you get away with nothing. Uh, I cannot read the name. Something pottery. Let's see if we can read it on the ladder. Oh, here, this is pa Payton City. Payton City Pottery. Very nice, but I am in major picky mode, so that does not meet my criteria for today. Yes. Is that Tupperware? What is Tupperware? It's vintage Tupperware. Four dollars for that one. I just don't do real well with the Tupperware. I don't, I put it in my booth and it just doesn't really go. So I don't know. And I don't like listing it. It's not really, oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of it. <gasps> See, and I think too, if you put it, like if you did a lot, of all of these pieces as a set together that could do yeah. pretty good but are these aren't even yeah i guess they are so they just mixed and matched the and i probably have somebody watching this right now carrie who's going put them in the cart put them in the cart um so i might i might look them up but look like this one's 2.99 that one is how much 4.99 this one is $4.99, you know, so it's five, five, like that's a lot of, that's a big investment. It's a big, it would have to sell for a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's, oh gosh, it's really, really hard for me to resist, but I just know it resist. is just not, resist. it's just not worth it. And you guys definitely are going to have to go over and watch Tiffany's video to see what I just did. Um, I... I took a challenge. Took a challenge. You can only see it over on her video. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, this one's actually got its, oh, it's Pottery Barn. It is Polish, so I have been seeing a few of these and I'm like, I don't know who done it, you know. Um, but these are actually labeled as Krosno. Now it's not super high end. It's not, I'm just gonna say it right there. Um, and I thought we heard that gray was actually half price. It is. So this was like a $19 candle. So it would be $3. And this one 
would be $5, and it was a $29 candle. I wish there was a third one in between size, because these two kind of just need, oops, somebody's dropping stuff. Um, these need like a, they need another one, you know? You know what I'm saying? So again, I'm like, I'm having trouble resisting these. What do you think, Carrie? What to do? I mean, it is Krosno, Poland. I mean, uh, five dollars, five and three, three and five. That's pretty. I don't think I can go wrong. They're really nice candles. What'd you spot over here, Carrie? Things. Things. Um, these are actually knife rests. What are they? Knife rests. So, like, put your knife, butter knife on the table oh, and yeah 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 you know in days of old when everybody whew, that moved all on its own did you bring somebody with you I might have. <laughs> Grammy. these are kind of nice but again it's that you have to buy them all to you know have some value so that's a $12 minus 40% so that's gonna be like seven bucks this and this probably sells for 20 so that's not bad. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's not a super great profit margin. But wouldn't these go nice? So I have some crystal -y salt cellars, but that would be nice sold together. Maybe. It would, yeah. But would it make a decent profit? But salt cellars sell really good all by themselves, too. It's an interesting jar. Glass. Oh, what are you? First Swing annual U.S. Home Swing for Life Celebrity Charity Weekend. So this was like a trophy kind of thing. And sometimes these are made by really good glass companies. But then you've got, you know, the etching in there that kind of kills it. That actually looks like Polish glass, too. Now that I look at it. Oh, I kind of like the melon vase down there. It's uh, very vintage-y, but... Very large. And up oh, came from home goods. Oh wait, what does that say though? So we can is it recycled glass? It is San Miguel recycled glass. Yep. I like when they label it. This is a beautiful piece, but $24.99. Oh, somebody sold it at their garage sale for $30. Yeah, well they were trying. They they actually didn't sell it at their garage sale for $30, which is why it's now at Goodwill. Ooh, I do love me some dried eucalyptus. Me I really, really do. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I don't know if that's safe to bring in with the birds, to tell you the truth. I just don't know. What you finding over there, Tiffany? Is that another one? Oh, it's the same one. Okay. <laughs> that's a pretty little, uh, pretty little folding screen thing. I do like that. But look at me. I'm going to leave it. I'm leaving it behind. What does this say? This says something that's going to bother me if I... Oh, it says Bon Appetit. Okay, I got it. I got it. Are those supposed to be like large golf balls? Or what? <laughs> they look like just very large golf balls. <laughs> One little... Oh, are those <gasps> seahorse and a dolphin? Nope. Resist. Resist, Danny. Oh, I see something down here. Oh, it's a bunny. I did not. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Santa Claus. Bunny. Something tells me we have switched boxes. It's windy today. No, it's Thursday. So am I. Wait her another round. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. My dog loves tiger. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that's about. Oh, I like these. I like, why do I just like slabs of wood? What is it about slabs of wood that I like? 
They make great displays. They do make great displays. And these are $3.99 a piece and they're birch and I'm getting them. Give me a tea. Oh, these are cute. I do like coasters. You guys know I like coasters. It's $2.99. $2.99, so six minus 40% would be like $4. I think I can swing that. Not a big fan of the chicken ones. Those have S's. These are like paper. Oh, that's a, oh. There's something in there. <gasps> is it Domino's? Oh, we need to get inside there. So they are, these are soapstone. So these are like soapstone. Oh, is that broken and taped together? So there are some broken ones in here. These are super interesting though, I gotta say. I might, I might look these up. Might give them a look up first. Unfortunately, there's only one listed correctly as soapstone marbles, marbles, dominoes, and those are listed for like $29, and there's no sold. And then if I just put in stone dominoes, the black ones do really, really well. The lighter colored ones, not so much. And the fact that there's some broken ones, we're gonna pass. All right, see this item right here? There may or may not be some uh, video of me attempting to play this. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you'll have to go over to uh, Tiffany's channel to... Uh, Guess what? There is. <laughs> this is Odagiri Original, but it's really kind of dinged up. Pretty dinged up. Is that Wilton? Armatale, Arma oh, made with care. Uh, Wilton, yeah. yep, it is. Some of those can sell for a good amount of money. They can. I'm. This might be one we want to look up, depending what the pattern is. That that might be a good buy. Not at ten bucks, but at six bucks, yes. Let's see what we got under here. Let's see, oh grapes and I can just feel like that it's too thin and the quality is just not there looking to see if that's possibly a um, nambe nambe is what we're looking for Ooh, are you ram tough <laughs> no that actually is off of a ram truck but I don't know is it a broken piece it's or plastic, is it though. the ones people desire are the metal yeah, but and car parts in general now can be like if somebody lost this piece off of their True. Ram truck, they're gonna pay twenty bucks to replace it. True. But it's not my thing, so I will leave it. But that's what that is. Do you like this? Is this something that you? I think we need to put it in the cart and check it out. I like to save up a few things to look up at the same time. Endurance stainless. Ooh, that is heavy. I wish there was a pair of those because that's kind of cool. There's only one. Only one. All right, there was a little bit of a crowd over at this shelf that we couldn't get to it before, but now we can. Oh, Carrie, this looks like uh, something that would go in your little bar area of your booth. Little Cabo San Lucas shot glasses. These are kind of cute. Kind of cute. So five turns into three, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes it does. Wow, I'm proud. Ah, you, you think after a while I start remembering the numbers. It happens. I see a good, oh, are you Yad? Oh, you are Yadro, but you're $25 and you're not even like the high-end Yadro, you're the no La Yadro. Or, uh, I had someone who used to call these lardos. <laughs> Let's see how exciting you are inside. You are not. You are not exciting at all. 
It just says box. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. What are you guys? Are you candles? Yes, these are candles as well. Kind of nice. Let's see who makes you. Scented candle sets. That's all it says. And sometimes I will buy candles for Jordan if they are the right candle, but th these are not not super exciting. I was just about to pass by and I just saw these little primitive punched tin candle holders. They are $2.99 each, so that would be six, so that would be $3.60-ish for that pair. And uh, this one's just a little bit, but I, I do like these. I, I, I think it falls a little bit under my $20 thing, but I don't come across stuff like this every day, so I think these are a good pickup. All right, now we are in some more glass. This is something that might interest Carrie. Again, she does have like a little bar area in her booth. This is Gran Patron Platinum Silver Tequila. That does not sound like cheap tequila. Uh, and it, the bottle is really nice, like nice heavy bottle with a silver plate stopper with a cork. I'm gonna show that one to Carrie. That might fit in her little booth area quite well. And I don't see anything else on this shelf. Okay, I showed it to Carrie and she wasn't too interested. She says her bar stuff is taking a little bit too long to sell. So I just ran the comps just to make sure we weren't putting back something super good. Um, there's another version of this with a fancy glass stopper that can sell for like $100. Uh, the comps that I found on this one with the silver top are running in about the $30 range. So for $7.99 minus 40%, I will uh, take that flip. What are these? They uh, they look like they're a little like a little off. <laughs> these are not for OCD people. That's what these are not for because they might drive you a little crazy. Who makes these? I don't even know. They don't even fit in the box right because they're so cattywampus. They're called ice cream dishes. That's what they're calling them. A two pack of ice cream. They're a saga form. I don't know. I'm a little drawn to them, but yet not. <laughs> if that makes sense. I, uh, I'm not drawn to the squish bottle. I, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, actually. What are these little babies? Are these your friends? No, these are not Dorothy Thorpe. I don't even believe she did anything with an etch like that. Um, and just the size of these is a little off, and the silver is wearing off. So we're gonna we're gonna leave those. Here's a uh, bread basket. There you go. Because I know you've always wanted one. I know it's a leaf with a frog on it. Oh, what was right here though? What's he? Is that a shape? Does he come off? No, don't, don't, don't pry him off. Does he? Oh, he does. Oh, he's a shaker. No, maybe not. Maybe he's just a. No, he's got to have holes somewhere. <laughs> I'm not, I can't find the holes either. He's cute though. All right, he's missing his friend though. That's, that's a shame. He needs the friend. He needs the friend. We'll leave it here and maybe the friend will come back. All right, let's see what we got here. Potter's Studio. Unfortunately, super duper crazed. Very, very crazed. And I don't believe on purpose either. I think that just happened in the glazing process there. So gotta leave that. Carrie, is this kind of like your little diner kind of a thing? A little syrupy kind of cute little guy right there. Is it an old one? Federal glass. She's an oldie for a dollar ninety. Actually, it's a dollar nineteen is what it turns out to be. 
Dollar nineteen. If it says dollar ninety nine. All righty then. Nothing else here. Need some lip smackers? I got some lip smackers for you. And uh, we got some diary of a wimpy kid and stuff. And then we got electronicals, which I don't do. So we will pass right on by. Although I am kind of digging all the retro colors and stuff coming out on the small appliances. I think that's a fun trend. And more kitchen stuff. Let's see. What does this one go up to? These are handy just if you're doing, oh, this goes up to four pounds. Like that could be a handy little scale when you just need to know if it's between zero and one, one and two for your shipping purposes. I don't know why this is not sitting right, but there's something, something off about it. So we're gonna leave that one. Somewhere there is a buffet missing its lids. All right, we got yarns. Lots of yarns. I don't know these fun little yarns. Primavera by Lang. <laughs> Ooh, and these are the kind I kind of look for because a lot of these colors can be discontinued and then you have somebody willing to pay a whole lot for these. So at a buck piece, I'm gonna grab these three. They are Red Heart Super Savers. Why? Is it just me that is attracted to just a box? Like, I had to look. I, I had, I don't know. I just had to look at just the box. My brain says, oh, I could ship something in that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. They're bringing out carts, so I'm going to check out what's on this one before she gets back over here. That is, um, musical. I don't like the scene. I, I don't know. I just don't like the scene. I'm not digging it. I'm not digging it. No. I don't see anything else super exciting on here. Which means it's already on the shelf. Alright. We're going to have to come back to the Christmas. Um, because it got really crowded over there right now. Because they just brought out a fresh cart. But we'll get over there. We'll get over there in just a moment. We're going to scope out some stuff over here first. All right, let's see what Christmas goodies have come out. Still looking for things to go in my Christmas in July sale that will be at the end of the month. Oh, Rudolph and the Misfit Toys is always a winner. And for $1.99, even though this mug was only $3 to begin with, this will still sell in the booth uh, for at least 10 bucks. So I'm going to grab it. That is just one of those characters that you can almost never, ever, ever go wrong with is the um, Island of Misfit Toys Rudolph characters collection. In fact, that is the theme of my uh, yard at Christmas time, which we're going to do again this year because I actually have been finding things on sale and then adding two things that I wanted last year that I didn't have the budget to get so as I watch things go on sale now I've uh, extended it this is an interesting little box of all this loose little that they just left all in this box I'm pretty sure they were probably supposed to price this all separate but they put it all in a box for $12.99 here I'll make it a surprise for somebody now I am skimming through the pillowcases to see if anything jumps out at me. And I've lost everybody else. I don't know. Everybody's doing their own thing now, <laughs> which is good. I hope they're filling up their carts. We'll have to go check back in and see. Uh, I didn't find anything here in the pillowcases. What'd you find? Oh, you found more Liberace. I'm sending a whole bunch of Liberace albums to my friend Misty of Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter because that's her guy. All right, we are gonna now skim through the toys. It is pretty piled up here. A little hard to shop it, but... Oh, he's a baby toy. When did sloths become like such a big thing? I know sloths are 
it's just like everybody oohs and ahs over sloths. And I, I think I've told my sloth story. I don't have a good experience with sloths. I actually worked up at the Reno Zoo where they had two sloths. And uh, one of them was not such a nice guy. You really, really had to watch yourself. And they can move quite quickly when uh, they set their mind to it. So don't let that slowness fool you. Those big old claws, they can get you. So here is my cart. I uh, was pretty picky, so not, not too much in there today. Some stuff for my mom and a Liberace album for Misty and... I got myself a little uh, gas money to give to my friend Sunny Las Vegas. This is a original Santa Cruz tie-dye with the print on the back as well. I guess it's like a skateboarder thing. So there's my there's my gas money for the week to go to the swap meet. Anyway, that's uh, that's it. I'm gonna check out and go hit. There's a little uh, restoration hardware store next door that I'm gonna go peek in at, and I will include that after the recap. So. Stay tuned, I'll tell you what I bought, how much I paid, and what it's worth on eBay. That's coming up right now. Next stop is the Habitat for Humanity, where I am on a quest to get a bookshelf uh, because I have a little surprise for Rachel while she's been gone on her retreat. All right, Rachel's getting ready to get on the bus. Are you excited? No, come on, you gotta let me film you for this. Here she goes. Here she goes. She's heading away for three, four days. I'm not gonna see her. She's gonna have a good time. She's going to Utah. There she goes. Heading out for fun adventures. Is I hired a professional organizer to come in and redo her room and one of the things we need is a bookshelf. So we're gonna go in here and see if we can find what I need. So here is the furniture room. Ooh, I don't see very many tall things at all. This is not boding well. I'm gonna end up having to go to like Target and get one that I have to build. Oh wait, here's a black one. How do I feel about a black one? I don't really like these real, like, ugh. I kinda don't really want one like that. They fall apart if you move them. If I get one like that, it's going to be, I have to buy it new and build it because they do fall apart. So let's see if there's like a wood shelf, you know, like, no, that's kind of like that cheapy, cheapy material too. Gosh, where's like the real furniture? Where is the real furniture? Not, oh, I see another one over there. Goodness. Another one that's like just one of those cheapies. That's not shelves. We are gonna ignore the art. <laughs> Except, oh, but there's puppies. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Hmm. I thought for sure I'd be able to come in here and just get what I need. So I think this is more of what I'm looking like. Looking like. Looking. Although this is, I mean, this is better. It's got a little, you know, it's got a little oomph to it. 
Um, it's cheaper than the one over there. I do like the height of this too. I just have to measure because I can only go 28 inches wide and I'm not sure how wide that is. So we're going to see if they have a measuring tape and I can figure it out. Wah, wah, wah. It is 30 inches wide. So that is not going to work. All right, now I'm just kind of looking through the rest of the store. Don't really know what my expectations are of finding anything, but it's always fun to see what ends up in here. It's a lot of building materials and such, like, you know, bathtubs, because everybody needs a bathtub. <sighs> well, I struck out there, but I just looked over in the parking lot. There is a furniture store, an actual furniture store. I, you just... You know, at this point, I don't mind just paying a little bit more to get the right thing because it's going to be in a hallway where I'm going to see it all the time. Uh, so we are going to go in here. It's, it's Sleep Well Las Vegas Furniture. So I don't know if that just means they have mattresses or they have other furniture, but it says furniture. So we're going to go in here and check it out. Oh, well, isn't that just my luck? Okay, struck out again. I got home and realized I didn't film an outro because it was a little weird me going over to the furniture store and all that. <sighs> it was a really, really good time shopping with Carrie and Tiffany and um, I came home to some pretty devastating news. My landlord has informed me that she will not be renewing my lease. Fortunately, I have 90 days notice to find something, but I had no intentions of moving from this house anytime soon. Um, so I'm a little, I'm a little gotcha right now. Um, no reason given. I suspect she wants to sell the property. She had an appraiser come a couple weeks ago and that was kind of a, a red flag for me. So, uh, you know anybody in the Las Vegas area who has rental properties i'm looking for something where i can take all of my pets that's usually the big problem with me finding a place to rent i don't have any big dogs i have two little dogs and a multitude of birds guinea pigs and tortoises which can be a problem so uh for those of you who believe in prayer i would appreciate you keep me in your prayers that the perfect home for me and the kids and the critters will show up or if you want to get an investment property in Vegas and rent it to me, I'd be all about that too. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm a good renter. Ah, so with that, signing off, you go be profitable and make it fun.